Henry gets to the party late and he's completely sober. He looks around and notices everybody else is already wasted or taking a trip to Yodi Land. Henry wonders, how are two substances that give off such opposing effects always found in the same place? And which one should I consume to have the most enjoyable experience tonight? Well, Henry couldn't decide, so he ended up smoking crack and f***ing dying. <gasps> now that's tough. If only he had seen this video. R.I.P. his soul. But we not ending up like Lil Bro. So, today I'm going over five different criteria, then having three professionals judge, and decide which is better once and for all. The drink or the za. Our first criteria is sociability. The ability to socialize. Now, personally, a lot of my favorite conversations have happened while me and the homies were either drunk or high. Our high conversations normally go something like, Bro, they said, I, at one point I said, these edibles. <laughs> he actually did. We have it on <laughs> These video. edibles ain't shit. <laughs> and then I fucking exploded. Bro. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy ass one. <laughs> and our drunk ones go like, Man, you're better than her, bro. But I miss her so much. Nah, bro. I know you'll find better. I know it, bro. Bring it in, bro. I love you. I love you too, man. That's just with the homies, though. When you're actually out and about, I think this one easily goes to the drank. Because in order to have a good high convo, the environment has got to be mint. If the vibes are just slightly off or you get too high, you could be f***ed up, bruh. You could have an anxiety attack. Your sentences could literally make zero sense. Yeah, I think it's safe to say the fun juice has got to win this one. The second category is... Safety. I'ma just say it straight up, bro. I have never heard of somebody getting high and going Chris Breezy. Or sparking up and jumping off a building onto a foldable table, bro. That liquid courage has people doing the most outrageous, embarrassing, and sometimes straight up evil shit, bro. Like drunk muff will commit unrecoverable crimes while drunk. Bro, bro, I got an idea. What is it, man? <laughs> Let's go to the park. Okay, bro. Yo, wouldn't it be funny if I lit this playground on fire right now? Yeah, bro, that'd be hilarious. I think it's safe to say the score is one all now. Criteria 2.5, dinner. I often get asked, Zero, would you rather have dinner with Jay-Z or get $500,000? And my answer is always, neither. I'd rather have dinner with Death Knight, Venus, Confessor, and a lore from Raid Shadow Legends. A free-to-play hero collection RPG with over 650 champions. It's Raid's fourth birthday, and I was actually invited to a party for once. Thanks, guys. I can't wait to link a lure. She's just my favorite, though. Raid has hundreds of unique champions that all have super sick designs that you can level up and customize in billions of ways. Right now is a crazy time to join. If you use my QR code, you'll unlock insane bonuses like the epic champion Kellen the Shrike. And since it's Raid's birthday, the gifts keep on coming. If you enter promo code 4 years raid, they'll hook you up with 4 legendary skilled Tomoes and more useful stuff. It's really simple as that, man. So go check out Raid and thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Our third category has to be cost. It's time to figure out the C-T-E-R. But I'm a YouTuber, so I obviously can't do math. So I'm gonna just read an article written by Michael Jackson. It says, if you're smoking that doo-doo pack, then the za is almost always cheaper. But it really depends on where you live and the connects you got. Because I know some people who figured out that infinite grass glitch, like it is GTA. Either way, this means the za is up two to one. And our second to last category is health. So we all know the ZA has some gangster health benefits. And even though it is a plant, it's called the devil's lettuce for a reason, bro. So I'ma hit you with some rapid fire ZA slander. We got lung issues, brain development issues for the youngins, loss of cognitive ability and memory, chemically induced mental health problems, and addiction. And I know my addicted homies can't even eat without sparking up first. But this is up against actual poison. So losing this would be pretty hard. This is an easy dub ski for the ZA. It's three to one for the ZA now, but it hasn't won yet because the last category is worth three points. 
one point for each score from a judge. And this last category is enjoyability. Now, although I'm always objectively right about literally everything, this topic is a statistical anomaly. So that's why we got the judges. Honestly, I used the whole sponsor budget getting these motherfuckers on, so... Our first judge is... The Real. Judge Bill Nye the Science Guy. What's your opinion on this matter? Although I do like smoking that fat grandfather a pack infused with the Ops Ashes, without my incessant consumption of alcohol to cope with my crippling depression, I never would have been able to complete the filming for my show. So I have to go with alcohol. Thanks, Bill. What do you have to say about this, Bell? Hey, I'm Bell Delphine, and I love drinking. It really gets me going. Thanks, Bell. Very cool. Wow, how intense. It's conveniently a really close one. Let's see what our final judge has to say. Hey guys, it's me, Chains. And after a spectacular competition between these two wacky substances, I'm gonna have to give it to the good old Zaza, the Mary Jane, the trusty, Devil's Lettuce. Thank you, Chains, for real, for your unbiased opinion. Zaza, Zaza.